We begin at 4 o'clock with breaking news. A SWAT standoff is underway after a shooting in the Claremont area. One person was arrested after that shooting, but the search is still on for a second person. The manhunt drawing a large police presence with at least two dozen San Diego police vehicles as well as the SWAT team. And of course, this is happening in the 4300 block of Claremont Mesa Boulevard. You can see it there just west of Genesee Avenue near Claremont Town Square Plaza. And Fox 5's Jamie Chambers is live at the scene with what he's learning right now. Jamie. Yeah, it looks like that they've shifted their search uh, right now. We were standing next to a house that's green and white. We were facing uh, down Claremont Mesa Boulevard looking at an apartment complex that the SWAT and tactical officers had surrounded. Then there was word someone came out and talked to the police officers, said, hey, somebody might be in this other house, and they've shifted their focus onto this other house close to Dubois and Claremont Mesa. They've been in contact. They've been in negotiation with the people that are inside that home. It is uh, certainly a tense scene. You see a lot of tactical officers. They've surrounded this, but they do have communication with the person that they're talking to inside. And we've seen the, the, uh, the shift in the officers down the street, certainly focusing their attention. Right now it is tense out here, but they are taking this very slowly, uh, methodically. Earlier today, one person was shot. Uh, we have reports that they had a collapsed lung and were taken to the hospital. And that is where we find ourselves now with one person arrested, another person being sought potentially in that house. But these are very fluid details as we work through this scene. Um, we get new information uh, all the time. And this is the very newest information we've had. We're expecting to have a news conference uh, with the lieutenant in charge here. But so far, it's been uh, a little bit of a holding pattern. Just moments ago, they shifted us off of Claremont Mesa Boulevard down to a side street called Dubois as they continue to negotiate, as they continue to talk to people that might know the suspected shooter or the, sus the suspect that is involved in this in any way. We're still not sure exactly who they're talking with or what the relationship is. Uh, with this shooting. We're going to be on this for quite some time. We're going to get an update from the lieutenant in just a few moments, but that's the very latest here from Claremont. We're going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, obviously a developing situation. Jamie, Jamie Chambers on top of that story for us. Thank you. And as you can imagine, the active police scene forcing several streets closed in the Claremont area. Let's get to Phil Blau with that part of our coverage. Phil. And Maria, here's what we know so far, and you saw what Jamie was talking about. I'm giving you a satellite view now of that general area. I can tell you that the house that they're looking at right now at Claremont and Dubois Drive is this house right here. So basically, Claremont is shut off all the way from this area, all the way back down to Kleefeld Avenue, and then this entire stretch of Claremont Mesa is shut off, as is this portion of Dubois Drive. So this is the area right now, once again, that the officers are looking at trying to talk to somebody who's in that house. Now, one thing I want to show you. See this post office that's over here. That's apparently where a shooting victim showed up. It's near a fire station at about three o'clock today. So this is how that whole thing began. We don't know uh, what exactly happened. And then at some point, I can tell you also, Maria, that there's this big church in, in this area over here. Uh, and that's one thing they were concerned about. Uh, this Northminster preschool here. There are a lot of kids, so they made sure that they got them evacuated while this was going on. So once again, Claremont Mesa Boulevard, really between Kleefeld and Jim Genesee Avenue is shut down right now while they concentrate on that one house, as I mentioned, that's right there at Dubois Drive and Claremont Mesa Boulevard. Maria? Yeah, that's going to create a few inconveniences oh, yeah. this evening. All right, Phil, thank you for that update.